guys, it's Nick and today I'm giving you this easy, quick, beginner-friendly makeup look that you can achieve under 10 makeup products, which is amazing. So for those of you who want to get into makeup but don't know where to start, I got to because we just want the skin to breathe. It's like your skin but better type of makeup look. So yeah. <laughs> So reality hits and I've got dark circles to cover so let's get on to it. Starting off with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector and what this does is there is no coverage at all. It just helps add that dewiness, that sheen on your skin. But we just want that natural glow from within type of look. So I'm just patting that on my cheekbones and slightly spreading that at the sides of my forehead because that's where the sun would naturally hit. Next is my favorite lip balm of life which is the Burt's Bees Lip Balm. And again, this has no color at all. It will just naturally enhance the lips that you already have. The next thing is the main reason how I got into makeup is concealer. The one I'm using here is a NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. You just rub your ring finger in the pot and you can easily just dab that under your eyes. So I'm just patting that in my very 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 obvious dark circles if you don't already notice. So as you can see it's super easy to blend as if it's just a part of your skin. Next is Cheek Tint from K Palette and I really love this one. Before I used to hate cream products, now I'm into it because this is the type of cheek tint that's from cream to powder and it just lasts longer that way. How I prefer to do it is with a stippling brush because it's just so much easier to spread and blend on your cheek. But to be honest, if I'm super lazy, I just use my fingers and that's fine too. What I love about this cheek tint is that it's super natural, like you can really achieve that drunk blush look or you could really tone it down in such a way that it seems like you have natural rosy cheeks because that's always my goal when I want that natural, fresh, dewy look. Next is highlight because I need it in my life. And I'm using the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek. And again, I'm just using my fingers which makes it so much easier to apply. And going to dab that on the top of my cheekbones because I need that extra sheen in my life. This is how I suggest you start because you can go from natural to really intense highlight with this ColourPop Super Shock Cheek and uh, I really love it. Next is brows, and as you can see, I already have some tint in them because I had microblading done, so I just have to slightly fill them in a bit. And I'm using my favorite Face Shop Designer Brow because it already has a pencil and the spoolie on the other end, which makes it easy to go back and forth with adding in lines and like brushing it through to make it as natural as possible. But I made sure that I didn't go overboard in drawing in my eyebrows because we are going for the natural, effortless type of makeup look. Next is a very, very important step for me because I am oily as hell. So I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I'm just using a really small brush and I use that to set the concealer under my eyes because if you're like me and you're oily, you need to set that in place because it'll just go everywhere. So also, I put a little bit on the top of my forehead and sides of my nose because that's when your girl gets real sweaty and not cute real fast. Next is eyelash curler which makes a huge, huge difference. So I use that to curl my eyelashes, obviously. And what I do is that I curl from the root to the middle to the tip so that it has that nice C-shaped curl. As you can see right there, you can leave it as is, but I am a mascara girl. I need to have my mascara in my life. And I'm using the CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara in the Orange Tube, which is one of my OG mascara favorites. So as you can see, I'm really applying more in the roots, wiggling that in the roots so that it will look as if I have fuller lashes. So as you can see, if I put just at the bottom of my lashes, it's as if, you know, I just have more volume. I just have a little bit of definition, but not too much. See the difference of mascara, it's just amazing. Just a few finishing touches. I'm just getting my ColourPop Super Shock cheek again. And I just wanted to apply a little bit of highlight at the top of my brow bone and also in the inner corner of my eyes. This is like my number one, number one tip in looking more awake because it really opens up the eyes. It makes you look more, I don't know, there's just something about inner corner highlight that makes you look like you're ready to take on the day. And then I'm just applying my lip balm again from Burt's Bees 
for that added sheen once again and the best thing about it is that it's easy to apply you don't even need a mirror for this because it's colorless it just adds that glossy sheen in a way that's not too much or too intimidating so yeah that's basically it like that was so fast you could literally do that under five minutes if you practice it i hope you guys found this helpful one way or another and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and like this video if you guys enjoyed it and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye guys